Hello guys, hello and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity. Yeah, that's right, that's right, we are playing again. And boy oh boy, I've got a lot of things to show you actually. So, let's get rid of F5 mode. And as you can see, I've done a lot of things. I've done a lot of things off camera. For example, this machine on living wood and living rock. Uh, yeah, so many things, so many things. And this is like a farm, like makeshift farm with the watering can. Oh yeah, just I done so so many things. Um, so yeah, uh, in today's episode, I actually want to show you what I've done, and uh, yeah, I want to show you a place where we are going to live, so uh, let me just quickly check my sound uh, yeah, just make it a little bit less so I've done a lot of things for example here you can see I try to kind of do auto crafting with Emmy and uh, yeah so basically what this thing does is that it's pumping in for example here coal and if there's in my system less than uh, 5000 coal this machine will start producing it and the same thing is here for diamonds and same thing here for iron oh I got iron on zero that's weird let's set it to 5000 and uh, yeah here for gold and here for redstone so yeah this is like my basic auto crafting and I've got a lot of recipes right here in those interfaces so yeah that's kind of cool and uh, next thing that I want to show you uh, are, those, are those chargers so I make a lot of chargers uh, with uh, the uh, machine inventory manager from Steve Factory. So yeah, this will automatically charge our crystals. Uh, but the biggest change is right here. I've done a lot of those auto crafting things, uh, but yeah, this system is one big mess. And yes, yeah, you can see a lot of cables and. Yeah, just one big mess and uh, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, I'm kind of dumping a lot of things as you can see right here. Uh, yeah, it's not good. So this system will be like our system for, well, for next maybe month because I want to do... Um, I want to make completely new system and yeah it's it's kind of easy because we just take those drives from here and put it into our new system so no worries no worries about that but yeah the system is mess and uh, yeah I've been trying to figure out a lot of different things uh, I'm kind of new to ME system or ME kind of like <laughs> in, in common so yeah this this is this is real messy uh i knew the basics but yeah this needs a lot of improving and hopefully i learn enough to kind of make a better system uh, so next thing that i actually want to show you is this uh, uh this singularities machine uh this thing just pumping cobblestone into this and it's making singularities uh, those are good for uh, those bridges uh, that you can make with them. Uh, this, it's like a wireless thing that uh, transfer uh, data without cables. So yeah, that's pretty cool actually. So we will be using a lot of these. And uh, yeah, I kind of like emptied a lot of things that we actually do not use. Oh, there are some enterprises. We've got a lot of enterprises actually, so yeah, so I emptied a lot of stuff from here, uh, so yeah, 
And the uh, next thing that I want to show you is this uh, cobblestone processing kind of machine. It's like just for now because I want to improve a lot of this. Uh, yeah, this is making the compressed cobblestone. Actually, I can I can actually show you how much I've got. Uh, compressed cobblestone. Okay, I've smelled it into bedrockium. Oh uh, yeah, you've got five bedrockium blocks and bedrockium ingots. A lot of, uh, yeah, it's producing quite a lot of this compressed cobblestone. So yeah, this machine is actually very good. So, uh, yeah, uh, here we've got like a room with, uh, the. Uh, with the thermal expansion machines, uh, they are kind of hard to actually hook into a system. So let me just show you. Uh, yeah, it, it's done with uh, import buses and uh, interfaces. Uh, yeah, I'm like processing this uranium uh, because um, when you process it, it will actually make uh, those uranium. Uh, dust and you can smell them into ingots. So yeah, that that's kind of cool. Uh, so this is like a processing room, and I've been collecting collecting some liquids. So we've got a full bedroom drum of essence, and you've got a lot of XP's liquid XP's. So yeah, that that's this is kind of cool. Uh, I put a lot of time and effort uh, to build this, uh, but. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not good enough. Uh, by the way, here is, oh, what, what, what that block doing there? Um, uh, let me just quickly turn off, turn on my magnet. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, hopefully I won't go into another dimension. Uh, yeah, what this thing does, uh, it's actually producing uh, wither bosses, as you can see. Uh, it's pretty awesome, and it's sending them uh, right here into uh, where it is into running dungeon, yeah. And this mob grinder is from Draconic Illusion. It actually kills them uh, instantly, and all those drops are sucked in uh, by this. So yeah, uh, I'm having a lot of Nether stars, you know. So we can actually see, and uh, I've been using them for power. Uh, so, Nether Star, yeah, we've got a lot of Nether Stars, and as you can see, I've been using them for power because uh, this thing it makes a lot of power actually. Uh, it's pretty awesome, and we also have uh, those sigils. Yeah, we have like more than we will ever use, so I want to ev eventually like get rid of those. I'd like to keep maybe 1000 of them in my system, but yeah, uh, we will actually never use that much. And we are getting these dungeon keys because we are killing those withers in the dungeons. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's kind of cool uh, because you can, um, if I search dungeon key. Uh, you can make it with Nether Star, and if we are going to kind of make the uncrafting table, we can get a lot of Nether Stars from this. But uh, yeah, it, you can't actually automate that, so uh, that that's that's things. Uh, so yeah, this is my auto wither killing machine. So as you can see, you can spam those withers pretty quickly. So, yeah, that, that's that's new too. And as you can see, I dig a big hole because I thought um, we will actually be building here, but then I discovered a place uh, that's much more better and convenient. So, right here, uh, we've got uh, draconic evolution spawners for witches uh, and pigments because I need those nuggets from there, them. Uh, we've got Wither Skeletons, uh, Blazes, and Endermans, and the last one I haven't decided yet. So yeah, they are all controlled by Redstone, so if we just flip this lever, uh, yeah, you can see this is like tier 3, 
Oh yeah, I got my magnet on. Oh, this is this is noisy. Uh, those like are those spawners I like uh, tier two, and this one is tier three. Uh, yeah, that it's pretty awesome. It's been producing a lot of things actually. So yeah, it's it's very it's very good uh, to build spawners like that. Uh, but again, uh, this could be improved because you know the uh, those grinders I'm using, uh, those uh, mob grinders from Draconic Evolution, uh, they can actually kill them instantly. Uh, so yeah, I don't actually need like the system that can push them into something like that. So yeah, maybe I will actually like kind of build this again. Uh, I will build this again better. Uh, yeah, we will see, we will see actually. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. Uh, as you can see, I have some, I had some computer troubles, so, yeah, and then I played for a while. So, yeah, that that's pretty much all I've done. Uh, I tried to make some research from TomCraft, so we can actually take a look. Uh, yeah, I've been doing research because... I want to, in some point, uh, get into Thomcraft. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to kind of do those research uh, on camera. So, yeah, that, that's that's pretty cool. And yeah, this is this is actually a kind of cool machine. It's uh, automated uh, kind of producer for the living rock and living wood. So I've got here a timer. Uh, it's set. Uh, uh, on 41 seconds and after that it will actually uh, break those blocks that are here and place another ones and as you can see this is on delay uh, this is this repeater and it's on delay so it will first um, uh, break those blocks and then it will place another one so yeah we can actually see it right now so almost there yeah it's break those blocks and then replace them and those uh, nodes are picking up the items so yeah that's pretty awesome and uh, yeah you will see that uh, it will change those blocks uh, a moment before it will actually like finish the cycle so if we just wait a little bit more uh okay it will be time so yeah you can see the wood like right there so yeah it's change them and then break them and replace them so i i have uh, a lot of living wood and living rocks so that's awesome and uh yeah uh by the way uh i've been discovering or exploring a lot of things around here but uh, yeah when we first started the server uh, we actually never kind of modify uh, the on uh, the generation type so this word was generating only uh, the vanilla biomes and I kind of struggled with that for a long time and <clears throat> sorry and I find a way how to actually uh, make that right because uh, you know uh, we try to change um, in the server properties the generation type but yeah it didn't help uh, but if you uh, take uh, from your word save the uh, level dot that uh, file uh, you can actually change the generation type in there so right now uh, we have the biomes of plenty biomes and they are awesome so i've been kind of exploring uh, a lot of things and i found a perfect place where i want to stay and i will just check our energy yes we are doing good uh, when i run two quarries at a time I had a problem with energy so yeah I'm planning to actually build a bigger reactor 
and uh, yeah, I need to I need to improve. Really, I really need to improve this system. So anyway, uh, let's take a look um, where I was. So uh, yeah, this is the flower field, and I love this place. A lot of flowers. I I kind of fell in love with this. Um, you know, uh, one of my girlfriend girlfriend actually saw this. She said uh, who placed all those flowers <laughs> so yeah uh as you can see there's a lot of other cool biomes uh but oh there's a there's this uh, super creeper oh yeah by the way i need to actually show you i've oh hello uh i have the draconic stuff but improved um, yeah, I had a footage of me killing uh, and resurrecting dragon. Uh, yeah, but uh, I kind of lost that with my computer problems. So that stinks, but yeah, I've got the uh, second level of draconic stuff. So yeah, they are, they're very cool and I will show you uh, them in the next episode what they are doing. Uh, but let's continue. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, then those Alps. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice biome. Uh, yeah, but I I don't want to kind of live here. Uh, first when I saw that, yeah, I I wanted to make my new base right here because you have like a huge mountain. And uh, yeah, a lot of space actually that you can build in, but uh, yeah, it doesn't seem right to kind of build here. I don't know why. Uh, I just don't like the snow. You know, maybe in some point you'll actually uh, try to build here or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So next place is yeah this giant flower field. Oh, this place is awesome, and I never actually find out. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, I've got a fortune on my pig. So let me just quickly swap that. Oh, I don't have that book with me. Oh, never mind. So. Yeah, uh, this is this is pretty cool uh, looking biome. Oh, this is block, right? Oh yeah, I don't have a silk touch. That stinks. Uh never mind. So this is pretty cool looking biome. I love those flowers. I wish uh, when you break them. Oh, they actually drop. Oh, they actually drop flowers. So, oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, it's like a rare drop. Yeah, I see. Okay, so uh, this is pretty nice bam. I love that. Uh, but yeah, no place to stay again. Um, yeah, but it's it's kind of trippy. This floor or this ground. Uh, yeah, it's very nice though. Uh, and uh, next place we want to go is yeah a flower forest oh it's normal vanilla flower forest but still you can find a lot of different flowers in here so yeah oh actually it's right next to the um giant flower field and um yeah and our next stop is right here so this is uh this is the canyon ravine and this place is amazing it's just amazing and uh, this is just like a, the first first thing that I saw and it's it's just awesome um, well actually I'm planning to build like gardens uh, in this in this kind of like a hole after the after the the meme meter um, okay after this big ball uh 
So yeah, but if you go like this way, uh this will you will actually get like into here and here I want to have like the en entrance for it and by the way here is where is that? Uh here is like some oh where it was. Uh there's like kind of dungeon uh I guess. Um uh, where exactly it was? Uh, is it here? No. Ah, uh, never mind. So, yeah, we've got a lot of things run around here, like a uh, cool biomes. Uh, we've got this uh, tropical rainforest. Oh, we even have like a villager. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, this is. This is like the second thing, and uh, when you like go over uh, this place, yeah, this is another kind of big ravine that you can see. But I'm looking for that like crack. Uh, oh my god! What? What's that? It wasn't here. Oh my god. What? What happened? Um Yeah, but still this is like pretty looking thing. Uh Where the hell I am? Uh yeah, I'm looking for this place. So here is like a break ravine. Uh because there's river biome. And I really love this. Uh, I would like to build like a bridges uh, between those two, and then have like a rooms uh, in there. So yeah, guys, this is the place. Oh, there's another village. Hello. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. So yeah, um, this is kind of the place where we are going to live. So. Yeah, this will be awesome, and uh, I want to build complete new base uh, in here uh, with uh, all those farms and everything. So yeah, we are going to live here, and um, this is, it will be it for today's episode. Actually, I just wanted to show you the things that I done, and. Uh, yeah, I want to kind of record everything what I'm doing, uh, like not everything, you know, not those boring stuff, but yeah, like kind of everything what I'm doing. So yeah, I've been now playing like a lot because I had time to record or render those videos. So yeah, I will be recording like all of it and trying to get this rendered uh, in time. So yeah, guys. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, next video will be much better, I promise you, I promise you. Uh, this video will actually come after the prank on Colonial Craft that we've done, so let's make to check that out. And uh, yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.